this is David Savile, again at the end of VegFest. Now, after the talk, I was speaking to a great guy called Trevor. You know, inquisitive, questioning, really thinks deeply about things. And we were, some of the stuff he, he was talking about were quite heady, you know, quite, you know, quite um, extreme philosophical views of, you know, the nature of thought, the nature of self and the nature of the universe, you know, really heady stuff, probably out of my league, really, because I, I don't, for me, all that stuff is great, but unless it actually impacts me now, I tend to just leave it out there for someone else to talk about. However, when we were talking, I was just trying to find a space for him, for something that he could do. You know, what does that understanding give him? How does it serve him? Um, and you know, because this, this, this is and this is a key thing for a, for doing anything in your life, to overcoming any problem, to actually experiencing life and do, creating an impact in the world. There's a huge difference between theory and implementation. As an example, the unconscious mind, right? It is probably it is the most powerful part of us and most of it is out of our awareness it just does and we just kind of go along and we we kind of our conscious mind often makes up stories as to why we've done things that's true however functionally it's not useful to think of it in that way in fact it's what kept me stuck for quite a few years you know when i started when i studied nlp and hypnosis it's all about the unconscious being powerful and the problem with that is it creates a victim mentality at least it did in me and i've seen it time and time again in hypnotherapists in in other uh, change agents whatever they call themselves um, they get stuck thinking the unconscious is, this, is too, it's almost too powerful, where actually the piece of power is the conscious brain. It's your ability to, to, say, to, to think, I choose, I choose, that is everything. What goes on beneath that, I don't really give a shit. It doesn't affect my life to know that maybe it's not a conscious choice after all. What does is that I choose and shit happens. I, I've made thousands of choices in the past year and a half, which has led me to be living a fucking incredible life doing what I want to do. Um, and it's only getting better. How have I done that? By choosing. So that's when there's a difference between theory and practical application. So I encourage you, theory is only useful if you can actually make, if it can actually impact your life in some way. If it's not, chuck out the theory and start again. Hey! So this is what happens in live video. Wrong way round. Hey! There you go. Practical application. I'm David. <laughs> you see, you, you can't get away from a live audience, right? <laughs> so, in summary, fuck, fuck the theory. Only if it's useful to you do you use it. Okay, that's how you can create anything in your life. Fear never needs to hold you back. Nothing ever needs to hold you back. Okay, take it, use it, test it. If it works for you, keep doing it. If not, chuck it out. So, question for you is: What theory are you playing with in your mind that is not useful to you? I question. If you've been thinking about it for a while and it's not working, either apply it or get rid of it and find something new. <laughs> it kind of threw me that complete thing, but <laughs> I think that's enough. So take care for now.